Okay, 2016, the uh, bidder we have here from Kansas City. Um, I'll just say, as a way of presentation, we're having a party tomorrow night and in 1222. Chaz is, is helping me run that. I, no, I'm helping Chaz run that. Uh, it's a partnership. It's a partnership. And uh, I'll have a, a table up there, take free support and stuff like that. So I'll just open it up to questions. Questions. Okay. Facilities. Describe we have place. them. Could you uh, give us a description of what your general facilities are? We have Bartle Hall, which is roughly um, about, we'll take up about two thirds of Bartle Hall, downtown Kansas City. And that's our convention center. That's your convention center. Okay. <laughs> and we will take up about two thirds of that. And so that will not leave enough room for anything of note to be in Kansas City that we can. Um, we have five hotels within two blocks of the, the convention center, which is about uh, 1,700 rooms, I believe. And I could be wrong on that, um, but it, it's close. And then if we should need it, uh, an over, we've got two ho overflow hotels, which are about a mile away from the facility, so they're not convenient in any way, shape, or form. Stupid there, quick question. Uh, no, is, Kansas is or Missouri? Is it, okay. Missouri. Yes. Missouri. Facility. Yes, we are in the state of misery. Missouri. Okay. okay. Misery. Thank you. Linda? What is the pollen count at that time <laughs> of year? Description of pollen count, hay fever, and related issues. They don't bother me at all, so I have no idea. It's, it's, it's uh, Kansas City. It's where your food comes from. You know, but I had the there. worst but, allergy attack of my life in Kansas City. Well, let us, let us then take the follow-on related You've got a chance to get your second one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat related <laughs> issue is, could you tell us a bit about what the weather Can you tell us a little bit about what the weather is like around yes. those times? Um, it's going to be hot and it's going to be muddy. Yes. Um, and there ain't no way to put lipstick on that thing. Just like Orlando. And uh, it, it's... it's uh, you know, our dates are mid-August, uh, and, and, and it can range anywhere from the uh, upper 70s into the 90s. But uh, you know, if we have a particularly nasty heat wave, it will be a particularly nasty heat wave, and that's all there is to it. Um, most of the facilities are connected via underground to the, the convention center. Most of the hotels are connected via the underground. We have air conditioning in Kansas City, along with electricity and running water. <laughs> All I can tell you is everything up to date. Yeah, everything is up to date. <laughs> How many horses do you roam the streets? Okay, yeah, all right. Yes. We're almost done. I, I, I did hear you're picking three supports at a party tonight. Is that Tomorrow what? night. Oh, tomorrow night. 1222. Okay, Speak thank you. Speak easy thing. Wear your 1920 scarf. That's right. And uh, the password to get into the party is goats. Oh, that's the part. That's okay. And I can explain that later. You can. Yes, we're not going to do that here. Yes. Uh, what's the smoking situation in Kansas? Um, it, it's we're we're civilized. <laughs> you know, okay. I, I, it's I, a I, hotel non-smoking. I I yeah, all the hotels are non-smoking. Um, I I am a smoker, and I went to Reno, and I was grossed out. <laughs> so I understand your problem. And the, and the convention center itself is also not smoking. Yes. Is it the same facilities as 1976? Uh, no. no. Well, yes, sort of. almost. <laughs> it's close. The, the facility, one of the facilities that they used in 1976 was the old Mulebach Hotel, mm -hmm. which the Marriott bought, and is a portion. It's it's the which will be our main hotel, and a portion of the Marriott is part of the uh, the Mulebach. Unfortunately, it is 100% non-ADA compliant. We can't use any of that portion. It's gorgeous in there, but there's just no way that we can use it. So it's not part of what we consider part of our program. Okay. Who are the other members on your committee, and who do you expect to be active as as um, high-level uh, committee members for the convention? Wants to ask, uh, the question was, who is the other members of the committee and what other people do you expect to recruit into the organization? As far as who we're going to... No, that's not the question. Yeah, okay, well, that's yeah, the way it sounded to me yeah. there, but okay. What? That's fine. No, who, who's on our committee? Who's on your committee? Rick Lickbart, myself, and Diane Lacey are the bid chairs. And we will probably continue those roles, you know. Um, we've got a year before the vote, over a year before the vote. But we will continue those 
chances are we will continue this, uh, roles as chairs. We have a lot of uh, Kansas City people who are doing a lot of good work for us um, that uh, will probably continue to do a lot of work. We don't anticipate a lot of our dividend heads to come from Kansas City because a lot of these people do not, in fact, have Worldcon experience. Um, we've been talking to uh, Warren Buff, Tim Miller, I know I'm going to forget people, Ben, Ben, uh, Mark Olson, uh, Glenn over there is on the committee, um, and uh, we'll be recruiting a lot of people. A lot of people that we wanted to recruit to the bid seem to have a lot of other things on their plate. And we, <laughs> we uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to say we didn't need them, but we felt like they were doing good work where they were at. So we will probably be approaching people here in the next year or so and talking to them about having senior roles on, on uh, potential. Does, we, that, does that answer the question yes. that you did ask as opposed yes. to how I misheard? Okay, thank you. Well, one of the things that we're, we're, we're well cognizant of is Kansas City can't run a World Cup by itself. You know, nope. I mean, we've got a lot of young kids on, on the bid, which is a good thing. But we're, we're certainly going to have to use a lot of the the floating world con committee. If you will. Right. Uh, barbecue crawl? Oh yeah. <laughs> barbecue crawl. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be plenty of barbecue. Uh, okay. Lots of barbecue. Yes. Do the stores stay open on the weekends? No. Is that a reference to 1976? Oh, yeah. No, well, that's so right. There is actually you have they didn't to go for a pharmacy during the smock. Yeah, time. there's a substantial Ooh. question. There's a, there is a substantive question in there. Says, what is the in the area near near around the convention facilities proposed? What uh, are the stores and other services, restaurants, whatever, open and available on weekends and at night? And holidays. And holidays, yes. Uh, the, well, you're, you're, you're bidding mid-August, however, right. so holiday is not the issue. The, uh, you, you were there at the SMOFCON. And on the weekend, I had to walk a long distance to for a farm, open pharmacy you would at be, that time. You would be shocked at how much money, how much taxpayer money, how much of my money is <laughs> sunk in downtown Kansas City. We have a grocery store about three blocks away from the convention center. I don't know exactly how far it is, but it's certainly walking reasonable walking distance, provided we don't get that heat wave. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's a pharmacy around there, but uh, the price chopper would certainly have a pharmacy available too. And as far as you know, 24-hour open pharmacy downtown, I cannot answer that directly, but downtown Kansas City has, has changed significantly since the uh, since the spot. Thank you. Billions of dollars. <laughs> is there still a liquor store on the fourth corner there? I'm sure there is. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, we can find you. <laughs> All right. So Any other questions? Right the street. Linda. I didn't get to ask this for the other group, but um, how close is the nearest hospital? Hospital. There's the hospital. I don't know. Uh, it would be a short ambulance right away. <laughs> Fast it would probably be North Kansas City, which is across the river, which is probably about a mile and a half. That is a substantial question for Linda yeah. in particular, based yeah. on an experience last year. Escalators trading. Uh, yes, a, a, a rabbit escalator. Not rabbit, a, a carnivorous escalator. Uh, yes. Well, actually, this is a question about the previous three bids. Carol asked about smoking. Here, did they address smoking in Helsinki? Yes. 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 I'll ask somebody else. Uh, Thanks. By the way, all, in my there opinion, all smoking. three bids okay. in the last one asked gave approximately the same answer about their facilities. Okay. Uh, I'm taking people out of these. Okay. Uh, where did you get this ribbon? Definitely not in Canada. Okay. It's true. I, We're in Missouri, so it's is okay. It, Oz theme. Okay. Oh, yeah. It had nothing to do with you. It had to do with the Oz theme of the Just convention. Just checking. The Oz we're talking about. No, 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 not at all. Okay, sorry. Lisa. Um, this is a raising issue for us personally, but it, for other people. What is the facilities in your area for people who may have to drive to your convention, especially in an oversized vehicle? Will they be forced to park in the next state and take taxis? That's what I was instructed to do in Phoenix at one time. Oh, well, <laughs> the next state is about 
six blocks away. That's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Uh, I understand the question. Um, unfortunately, because we're, we're in downtown Kansas City now and not in Overland Park, we can't plow down cornfields to give you parking, <laughs> and they will charge you in downtown Kansas City. Not, there is let, adequate amount of parking. Let me work on it this way. There is, so that it is a, uh, most parking is likely to be garage-based and some parking lot parking, but the question is, what if you are driving a vehicle that is taller than I am, yeah. And has clearance issues. To be honest with you, I mean, I'm this six foot not, six. Well, are, are they, there is is there going to be places within a reasonable distance where you can park an overheight vehicle? Yes. But, uh, there there are there are lots of lots in downtown Kansas City that are are just open lot. Open lot. That would be and and, and that you can park in overnight. Yes. And, okay. That's 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 what we're really. Some people you'd be surprised how many groups. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. doing. I have, Tony has a question. All right, no, I have an answer for the hospital, sort of. Yeah. Uh, my understanding is ever since an incident at the ABA, most large conventions are required to have EMTs on site based on the number, which ameliorates the need for the hospital. They would make the decision that they need to go. Are there going to, how many more people have interest in asking questions? Because I thought I just saw one more hand. Or are we done? We're done. I think we are done. Thank you very much. Well, where are we party last time? Uh, tomorrow night, 9 ish, 9 30, 9? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. 1222. 1222. Speak easy. Okay. And I believe, uh, unless.